Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I am going to demonstrate how you create new ac a new activity in SoundPlant using sound files. Now in an earlier video I showed you how to record sound files and now what we're going to do is we're going to take those recordings and put them into a brand new SoundPlant activity. So first of all, open up your sound plant by clicking on the icon and then if you get this message just click run. And then as soon as that loads up, what I want you to do is open up the location where the sound files that you want to use are stored and mine are in my documents. So load that up as well and then just jig the screen about a little bit so you can see both sets of information as it were. For safety's sake with SoundPlant just to make sure that you're not accidentally modifying anything just come onto the SoundPlant window and just click on new and that will just refresh everything and make sure that you're not um, accidentally editing an activity that you were working on before. Now in terms of creating a new activity within SoundPlant it's just a drag and drop exercise. The most difficult part of it is to make sure that your mouse skills are good enough to actually drop the sound file in the right place. As I said this activity is all about um, when a key is pressed on the keyboard um, the sound that is the, the sound that um, the user hears is just the letter name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the sound files which are on the right hand side of my screen onto the appropriate letters on the keyboard within the sound plant software. So let's start off logically with A. So I'm going to drag that all the way across. You can see that when you get to the right letter there is a green highlight around the letter and as soon as you see that take your finger off the mouse and you're done and just to test it let's press A on the keyboard brilliant in terms of setting up the rest of the activity we just repeat this process I get my recording of the letter B and I f drag it across to B can you see the green outline on the letter B? Take my finger off the mouse and I check it by pressing B on the keyboard. B. Don't I sound absolutely wonderful? Okay, and I'll do the same with C. Grip the sound file, drag it across, make sure that C is outlined in green. Test it. C. And there we go. Now if you do make a mistake, and I'll show you this using the sound file for the letter D, if you do make a mistake by accidentally putting it onto a nearby letter, then it's easily sorted. So I'm heading down for D here, but I accidentally drop it into F. Okay, so that when I press D, nothing happens. But when I press the F button, I hear the D letter which is no good whatsoever. Okay, so with the F key still highlighted and you can see there that it is highlighted, you're going to come down to the bottom part of your sound plant and I hopefully you can see the mouse car the mouse cursor. What you're going to do is you're just going to press reset. And you can see also along the bottom that you've got the letter F is um is here in black and then you've got no file selected and that's showing you that you've reset it and you've basically deleted it. So let's take that D back and put it around the right letter. Okay D is now highlighted so I can drop it there and then I can test it. So creating a new activity within um, SoundPlant is as simple as that. It's just dragging and dropping your sound files into the right place. Now once you've completed that what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top 
of the sound plant box and you're going to click on save and then what you're going to do is you are just going to um, just going to name this particular sound plant activity and I shall um, name it I don't know something like alphabet and at the moment it's telling me um, that it's going to save it on my desktop but again what I could do is open up my documents and just save it in there okay thank you for watching this video and good luck in creating your new activity